Well guys, here we are. We're in stupidity land. Here's the plan. Can you see the cable up in the tree up there? Well, it's wedged between this tree over here. You're on a tripod because we're going to run. What we're going to do, or attempt, is cut this one low because there's nothing on it up top. Okay? But it's already started to barber chair so you can see the chain on it. So it shouldn't barber chair and I'm not trying to cut it down. I'm just cutting it till I hear a snap. When I hear a snap or a crackle or they yell at me, then this boy's gonna run like a rabbit that way. A 90, a 90 year old rabbit. Jeffrey's up there, got the cable. He's not gonna pull until I have that notched. And Kenny over here is gonna be the cameraman. So we will have a witness to how I got killed. I'm gonna stay that guy away. Now we did. We have sewer cleanouts here, all over here. So we put these logs up so it wouldn't hit those plastic tops. So I guess, I guess we'll put you right about here for now. You can see me doing the sawing. Kenny will come over and assist here. Man, uh, how come the old man, the oldest guy here, has got to be in the hole? That's right, it was the day before yesterday. Let's see if this old saw, this old 1982 steel, I don't see anybody out there. I gotta find some people out there with huskies that are as old as this. Look at that. It came to work, I didn't. Barber chaired out. I'm glad I had the chain on it. Yeah, yeah we're ready to roll. Let it, rock. Let it rock. It's the best I can do for everybody. He's pulling up there. Hopefully, that'll come down. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's coming. What do you think, guys? I'm all right with that. We're only four minutes into this. Woo! And everybody was a long way away. This old man got to take a soda break. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? And I actually got it on film, I do believe. This ain't gonna be nothing. Now just about everything's on the ground. The next exciting stuff is gonna be cutting some of them stumps off. Woo! And I do have a chain down there. It kept it from, it started the barber chair out. I don't know if we can go over and see that. I'm gonna take you off the stand. That's a maple tree. That. 
might even become a saw log. What you didn't see was me up on the winch putting that in the tree. That was a um, OSHA moment. Oh shit moment. Was that OSHA or oh shit? And I think a, I think a squirrel lost his house. Another squirrel kicked it out of the way. Let's go over and look at this. I don't know what this maple tree had left in it. Woo. Yeah, see, I got to here. I got to here and it started giving way. That's why I had the chain around it so it wouldn't barbecue. Oh, that chain's tight as a tick now, too. Might have to cut that out. But I think we are in safe mode now. <laughs> look at that. Whew. And to get, get you an idea, this is another stump that ain't no little stump. Okay? This ain't no little stump. That's got to be 12 foot high. That one's going to be a bear too. So we got a long way to, long way to go. There's probably at least 5 million board feet. You ain't going to get that chain off of there. <laughs> Did you get it? Holy cow, you are good. I couldn't get it. You see where I got into here and it had already it had already split off mm -hmm. into here. So the only thing that he broke off was that little part there. I think we did all right. Nobody got hurt yet. Something must be wrong with his job. I, I don't even have a whole lot of blood yet. I know I've done something wrong. Cut this up and get it the heck out of here. How you doing? That's the man that owns the trees. This thing don't look like nothing but a big piece of firewood. Can you see that? I'm, I I gotta go take a soda break. I done wore out. This thing ain't got a this ain't got a straight two feet on it anywhere. You cutting that off back there now? Well, I thought we were gonna cut it and make it smaller first. I marked it. That right below that is a real nasty spot. Heck, you might get two exciting things in a row on this one. If that stump goes up, that'll be a good one. We didn't get the. Oh. He's running a. That's a 084, corded and polished. And, you know, I don't think I even want to stand here. Is that, yeah, it's going to want to come this way. But then you can't see it. Because that's going to flip up. We're talking about this. We're trying to get him to stop. And you can't slow Jeffrey down. And you can kind of get the idea how big that stump is. With him back there, he's 10 foot tall, so that has to be at least a 20 foot stump, don't you reckon? <laughs> See, going over the other side and finding running room. You know, we could tie that thing off. Well, he, something in. he ain't gonna wait for us, though, I guarantee you that. He didn't even take a wedge in there, did he? A knucklehead. He's going to hang it up. Except for that cuts about an inch path through there. See you later, boy. Huh? She's a cracking. You think it's going to go? No, without pulling on it a little bit. Oh. 
but the log wouldn't roll over me. Right. It wouldn't even ever stand on the backside. You gonna come down here and push it a little bit? Yeah. After you wind the cable up. Oh man. Ten minutes of cable winding. Yeah, let's wind it up real quick. Here, you're the cameraman. You can watch me wind. Show me. Whoop. That thing's gonna go. It's gonna go. Right when I don't have the camera on it. I hear somebody. Oh, just leave it on. Just unhook it? Yeah. You only half hooked it up anyway. Oh, really? Only one lever was hooked. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep this on here, guys. Hopefully, we'll get that stump go kaplop. I know it's kind of like waiting for paint to dry. Oh. He's just on hooking the winch. We're going to have to put it back on to pull the logs out anyway. He dug in a little bit there. Uh-oh. That's not a good pusher anyway. I don't know where the forks are at. I think they're all the way down the other end. That was the dangerous one on this one here. Is he gonna push without that beast? He gonna push that just that way. I can't get the stump and everything, I ain't that good. He didn't quite make it. Go get the horn. It started to move. Go get some forks. You know, this is just sitting here. It could come down on us, couldn't it? I'm just thinking about that. And the saws are right here, too. I think we'll move them saws. I can't pick this big one up. Oh my god! Huh? That thing is heavy. It is. Um, we gonna need these red chains anymore? Um, not the big red, red chain. Just put them in the back of the Kubota for now. That'd be fine. Or on the floor. No, that's why I paint them red. Here he comes, the madman with a fork. I guess we ought to have a saw to cut this knob off of. That one there is, um, there's a 16.6 and an 18.6 and another six, six or so feet on this end, not include this little bit here. Let's see what we got now. I still shouldn't be under this thing. There goes the stump. Oh, it didn't come off. There it goes. And then we can cut this off here. That'll be fine. Hey! 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 Go around to the other side and pull that off because it's just hanging there. Go around the other side, put the forks up, just pull those.
this dangerous one out of the way because it's just kind of sitting there. Get it down. Where's my little baby saw? Once it gets it down to my height. We'll leave you on here for a few more minutes. We're just going to get it down, cut some of them, some of the nastiness off of it. That's a pile of saw logs over there, or not saw logs, firewood logs. Here, you're in charge of the camera. Us. Let's get out of here. I guess he knew what he was doing, didn't he? <laughs> he seems to most of the time, doesn't he? just a matter of cutting it off. That's firewood too. He might be able to pull that out and we'll cut it in half. That's probably 20 foot long, don't you reckon? Uh, hell, it's on the wood pile. We all leave it there. get some air in that tire. Actually, being maple, that might be a nice saw log. All right, guys, we're at 20 minutes, and I got to get back to work. Sorry that we haven't Xerox bore this stuff. Yeah, he's over there once it cut in half and 
So I got to go cut it in half. We'll see you later. Thanks for stopping in. Bye-bye.